Crawford rapidly intensifying in the Western Pacific. Rapidly intensifying Typhoon, now going through the Luzon Strait. There's now a Category 3 Typhoon with a position of 19.9 degrees north and 122.9 degrees east. The Pegasa name for Crathon is Julian. The wind speed at the moment is 120 miles per hour, that is what we have gone with, and a pressure of 946 millibars. It is moving northwest at 325 degrees at 7 miles per hour. This is the latest at 11pm in Santa Ana and 11pm in Kaohsiung. The wind quadrants for the storm right now are shown here, 145 to the northeast, 135 to the southeast, 100 to the southwest and 90 to the northwest. The distance in kilometres are shown here, it is 211 from Kalian, 233 from Apari, 396 from Hengchang and 475 from Kaohsiung. Krathon could also become the only recorded major typhoon to ever strike Taiwan from the south. That is a could though, it is not for certain yet. However, it is in the cone of uncertainty. The max sustained winds is 120 miles per hour. JTWC and ATCF now have it at 100 miles per hour and we are going for 120 miles per hour which is slightly higher. The cone shows here the track going straight into southern Taiwan now, approaching near Kaohsiung, and the GTWC have it intensifying to 115 knot peak, before then dropping down to 110 knots before making landfall and then weakening from there on as it heads north. The sea surface temperatures right now are looking great, with some of the pink spots going up to 30 and 32 degrees Celsius, and the red around it dropping down to 28 degrees Celsius. The sea surface temperatures are perfect for this storm at the moment. The multi-model dynamic comparison, the intensity, most models, uh, the GFS there is going slightly lower, but some models, like the HFSA, are going quite high there. The shear is expected to rapidly increase on the second and the third and kind of go up and down between there. The track is quite certain of where it's going to go, past some Taiwan and then head up to the north towards the Korean Peninsula, and the sea surface temperatures are very consistent. Become an ultimate fan today.